Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we will discuss few examples on probability. These examples will help you a lot in understanding the concepts which we already discussed in our previous classes. Please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to our first example. Three students are chosen at random from a class consisting of 12 boys and 4 girls. In a class, uh, they are saying that uh, there are 12 boys and 4 girls are there. Out of those uh, 12 boys and 4 girls, three students have been chosen. How we have chosen, that also they are explaining. Find the probability for three students chosen one after another. This is how they are choosing the students. And what they are asking is find the probability that all of them should be boys one after another to be all are boys here you have to understand the point we are not going to replace first time we are going to select one student if it is a boy we are not going to replace the boy again in the class so they are dependent events they are dependent events so coming to our first event event a is given as first time should be a boy even B is given as second time should be a boy. Even C is given as a third time should be a boy. So what's the probability? Three events should happen and they have all of them should be happened. How we write that? A intersection, B intersection, C. So this is what we needed. A should happen and B should happen and C should happen. Probability of A intersection, B intersection, C from the multiplicative law. In our last class when we discussed it for n events for three events uh, it was given as from multiplicative law probability of a intersection b intersection c is given as probability of a if first happened probability of b if first happened probability of a multiplied by probability of b if first first event already happened multiplied by probability of c if first two events already happened this is how multiplicative law works this can continue for n events. All these are dependent events. That's why we have written a conditional probability. If they are independent events, simply probability of A, probability of B, probability of C. They are dependent events. That's why we have, that's why we have written conditional probabilities. Now coming to the answer. 12 boys, 4 girls are there. What is probability of A? Means we are going to select a student first time. So how many boys are there? 12 boys are there. Out of them, we have to choose 1. 12 C1 divided by total how many students are there? 12 plus 4. 16 students are there. 16 C1. This is what probability of A. Probability of B, if A already happened, means we already selected a boy. How many boys left? 11 boys will be left. 11 C1 by total how many students? 15 students are there. 15 C1. Probability of C if A intersection B means A happened, B happened. What is probability of C? Conditional probability. So already first time we have selected boy, second time we have selected boy means how many boys left? 10 boys will be left. 10 C1 by total how many students are there? 14 C1. 14 students are there, we can choose in 14 C1. So this is what the probabilities are. Probability of A intersection, B intersection, C is given as 12 by 16, 11 by 15, 10 by 14. This is what the, the probability value is. Now coming to the second question. Two aeroplanes bomb a target in succession means one after the other. They are going to hit a target. The probability of each correctly scoring a hit is so each each aeroplane's probability is given as 0.3 and 0.2 respectively first one is 0.3 second one is 0.2 respectively the the second will bomb only if the first misses the target if the first one has missed the target then only second will one will go and bomb the target so they are going to ask find the probability first probability is target is hit Second probability is both fail to hit. Coming to a one by one, we are going to solve. First one is target is hit. Here we are having two choices. Target is hit means first airplane may hit the target or second chance is first airplane may miss the target and second airplane may hit the target. These are the possibilities we have. This is written as A union A complement intersection B. First one has hit the e, hit the target. Once if first one has hit the target, there is no need to go with the second aeroplane. If 
this not happened or second possibility is a complement means first one has missed the target intersection means first one has missed the target and second one has hit the target these two possibilities these two possibilities are mutually exclusive events why occurring of both the events at the same time is not possible that is what mutually exclusive events means uh, these two are disjoint sets whenever these two are mutually exclusive events from the additional law of probability a union a a complement intersection b can be written as probability of a plus probability of a complement intersection b if they are disjoint set mutually exclusive set uh, mutually exclusive events if you are not good at what mutually exclusive please watch our previous classes and come back here because and uh, probability of a plus probability of a complement intersection b so coming to here these two events should happen means first one has to miss second one has to hit both that's why we have written and these are independent events first one event is not affecting the probability of second one event that is the difference between mutually exclusive and independent events if they are independent events what is the what is the probability this from the multiplicative law we can write it as probability of a complement intersection b is given as probability of a complement probability of b so final equation is given as probability of a union a complement intersection b is equal to probability of a plus probability of a complement probability of b that is 0.3 plus a complement means 1 minus probability of a is given as a complement 0.7 multiplied by 0.2 final probability is 0.44 second one is both fail means a complement intersection b complement both fail means first one has to miss and second one has to miss a complement means first one has been miss and second one has been miss b complement both are independent events this is written as probability of a complement intersection b complement that is equal to independent events means probability of a complement multiplied by probability of b complement that is 0.7 multiplied by 0.8 that is equal to 0.56 this is how we use the previous concepts and solve our probability examples. Hope you understand the concept. If you have any questions regarding the examples, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates.